is scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. Our referee in the ring at this time, Mr. Roger Giannis. We have one judge change in front of me. We now have Judge Aaron Kaiser. Other judges remain the same. Introducing the principals. First of all, in the red corner, from Houston, Texas, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim, he weighed in at 148 and one half pounds. His professional record, 30 wins, two losses, one draw. Coming back for his third appearance here at the Coliseum, David Bad Boy Gonzalez. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim, hails from Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in at 149 and one half pounds with a professional record of 12 wins and nine defeats. Uh, let's welcome to Arizona, Anthony Ice Ivory. Our referee, Roger Giannis, with the instructions. Uh, this bout is scheduled for 10 rounds. Okay, boxing fans, so glad you could join us tonight here on the 8 Count Boxing Hour. Dan Cisneros at ringside here in Phoenix, Arizona, where world-ranked David Gonzalez will put his flashy record, 30 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw. We're underway, round one. David Gonzalez in the black trunks. Anthony Ivory in the red trunks. Ivory out of Chicago, Illinois. You can see he's a, a pretty good boxer, good movement. He has a nice jab. And he's flashing that jab right now. David Gonzalez, a little more of a workman. He'll try to work his way inside. He's at a disadvantage of the reach, reach uh, department. There you see him trying to catch Ivory, and Ivory just kind of slips away. We're just underway, round one. You're watching the eight-count boxing hour. Referee for tonight's bout is Mr. Yanez. You can see Anthony Ivory using his foot movement and jab. There's an uppercut from Ivory on the inside. Gonzalez tries to answer, but does not catch Ivory. Nobody home. And there you see Ivory now flashing some, some good punches. Coming up a little bit short. There's a quick little right hand inside. When Gonzalez gets close, he needs to let his hands go and work. 30 wins out of 33 pro bouts. He's world ranked and looking for a title shot. He's got to get past Chicago's Anthony Ivory here tonight. Ivory does not have the flashy record, but he is a good, solid pro boxer who's definitely going to test the favored David Gonzalez from Houston, Texas. Right now, the two are kind of hooked up inside, and there you see Ivory letting his hands go. There's an uppercut, some short little chopping uppercuts on the inside. Anthony Ivory doing the right thing when he gets tied up on the inside. And you can see Gonzalez really trying to work his way in close. Got to get past that jab of, of Ivory. And you can see as Ivory retreats, Gonzalez steps right with him. He knows he cannot fight at distance. He needs to be inside. And he's right there where he should be, but he's really not letting his hands go like he, like he could. And again, oh, there's a body shot from Gonzalez, and he comes back with a right hand. Ivory just sticking out that left hand. Not, not a lot behind it, but trying to keep Gonzalez under control, but Gonzalez, just like a bulldog, <laughs> pulls his way in. And that ends That's round one. Round one. Ten, here comes round two. So round two is underway. Thanks for joining us tonight here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. 
We have a 10 rounder here, welterweights, Anthony Ivory in the red, David Gonzalez in the black. Close first round, I, I, kinda, I gave it to Ivory. I thought Ivory did a little bit more work. He let his hands go a little more freely. We'll see if David Gonzalez has an answer for that. You can see he's continuing to try to work his way and stay in close, and he's right where he wants to be. Ivory kind of kind of tying him up there. But Gonzalez still ducking his head and charging forward. There he just grazes Ivory with a right. There's a right hand that lands from Gonzalez. And now David Gonzalez starting to let his hands go. Ivory just kind of slipping back, trying to stick that jab out there. Gonzalez, world ranked. And Ivory with a reputation as a good, solid journeyman fighter. So this is a good test for David Gonzalez. This is going to be a tough one. Again, you see Ivory now with the jab right hand, getting a little bit of space between the two, sticking out that jab. And Gonzalez now lets his hands go a little bit. There's a body shot from Gonzalez, and he continues to just bull forward. Ivory allowing himself to be pushed back by Gonzalez. There's an uppercut on the inside from Ivory, and Gonzalez answers with an angry combination. Again, Ivory, the trickster. More than enough experience against some top quality fighters. Ivory actually defeated Pat Coleman three fights ago. That was for the Illinois Junior Middleweight uh, State title. Uh, he also holds a win over Terry Whitaker, so Anthony, uh, Anthony Ivory has got to be taken serious here. He has been in with some top level opposition. He has faced Julio Cesar Vasquez, former world champion Laurent Boudouani, Chad Parker, Brett Lally, Carl Daniels, Davey Hilton. He's been in with, with just some top level fighters and right now he has his hands full with a big serious David Gonzalez. And there you see Gonzalez now missing with the right hand, trying to come back with that left to the body. And Ivory just steps back and pumps out that jab. These two guys have been pretty well locked up. Chest to chest here. There you see Gonzalez with a little flashy uh, combination. And, and that uppercut from Ivory has been continuing to land. Maybe not as often as he needs to win the rounds, but that ends That's round two. Round two. And we will be going, heading into the third round here in just a bit. This is round three coming up, seconds out. So round three is underway. Dan Cisneros at ringside. You're watching the eight count boxing hour. And we've got Anthony Ivory and David Gonzalez locked in welterweight battle here, scheduled for 10. The rise of Houston, Texas, David Gonzalez. Trying to take another step, and in his way, Anthony Ivory from Chicago, Illinois. Gonzalez started to kind of get untracked a little bit there in that second round. First round was pretty close. I, I had Av Ivory winning that one, but I think Gonzalez might have got on track with that second round. And again, you see Ivory kind of allowing Gonzalez to, to get inside and work, and I think Ivory would, would ser uh, serve himself well if he could just kind of take a little bit of step to the side and back and, and just fire out that jab and keep moving, but he's willing to stand and trade and mix it up on the inside with the shorter and shorter reach, David Gonzalez. Referee Roger Yanez has not had a whole lot to do in this one. Even though these guys are working on the inside, staying close, close quarters, they're not really tying up a whole lot. There you see Gonzalez now letting his hands go. That's what he needs to, to do. Anthony Ivory with a good, solid chin. He's, he's not easy to be taken out here, and so Gonzalez is really going to have to work and build up some points here. And Ivory now working with that jab. Now he comes back with a good combination. Throwing those short shots on the inside. He has long arms, but he's not too bad on the inside. And Gonzalez is, is uh, meeting Anthony Ivory. 
right in the center of the ring here. There's a body shot from Gonzalez. Again, Anthony Ivory not dancing away. He's content to stand right in there and trade with, with uh, Gonzalez. Again, that little uppercut <laughs> just snaps the head back of Gonzalez. Gonzalez takes it well, and now he fires back with some body shots. He continues to work on the inside. That's his office. That's where he wants to be. Again, you see Gonzalez unleashing both hands, coming up a little bit short. But he is still able to push Ivory back, imposing himself on Anthony Ivory. There's a left hand to the body. And that ends the round. So, um, and we are into round four here. The eight count box and now we're bringing you David Gonzalez and Anthony Ivory here, welterweights from Phoenix, Arizona. And you can see David Gonzalez on the march again, trying to move in and stay close with Anthony Ivory. He doesn't want to allow Ivory to have that distance to stick out that jab and be able to slip those shot, the counter shots. Gonzalez wants to work right on the inside and there he goes with a little uppercut. Missing with the right hand but still moving forward. And Gonzalez catches Ivory on the way out with a little left hand. It does seem to me that Ivory could do himself a lot better if he could just move off to the side a little bit more. He's kind of planting his feet and standing on the inside and exchanging with uh, David Gonzalez. I don't know if that's such a good fight plan. But then again, he may not have much choice as Gonzalez is like a bulldog right on top of him. There's a good body shot from David Gonzalez. And now Gonzalez starting to work on the inside just with those short little chip shots on the inside. Anthony Ivory in the red trunks, David Gonzalez in the black trunks. There's a left hand slipping in from Gonzalez and again working with that left hand, two shots. Now he's working with the right hand as Ivory felt those ropes on his back and stepped away does not want to be hanging on the ropes, and he's done a good job of staying off the ropes. Sticking that left hand, that jab, just trying to keep Gonzalez off of him, but David Gonzalez is relentless. Man, he, he just moves in, and now he gets a little bit of space, fires that right hand, comes up short, but he lands that left hand to the body. Again, he tries the left hand to the body. <laughs> Ivory was ready that time. There you see Ivory again, just standing his ground and working on the inside with Gonzalez. Now Ivory is back on the ropes. And Gonzalez with another left hand to the body. Good body work from uh, Gonzalez. He could probably do, uh, afford to do a little bit more of that. Now the Boo Bird's coming out. The fans are getting a little bit restless. They want to see these guys just unload on each other. Both fighters being a little bit on the cautious side, but Gonzalez continues to press forward. Throws a right hand there. And again, you see Ivory just flicking out that jab. There it is again. And that ends round four. So round four. Round five underway. David Gonzalez in the black comes charging out and jumps right on Anthony Ivory, who kind of ties him up and then steps away. Now Ivory stepping back and firing, working behind the left jab, firing the right hand behind it. There's a good move by Ivory. He's showing how slick he can be. And I don't know why he is willing to stand and, and mix it up on the inside at close quarters with Gonzalez. I think Ivory could do a lot better if he would just work on the outside and move a little more. Stick that jab out there. When he does that, he's effective. But once Gonzalez gets inside, 
and Ivory falls into that trap of, of standing and trading with him. Seems like that always works to the advantage of, of the shorter David Gonzalez. And now Ivory just kind of tying up with, with Gonzalez. And Gonzalez now doing a good job letting his hands go. He was a little slow to get that going, but right now, when he's being tied up, if he'll just work, he can, he can take these rounds. He needs to put him in the bank. Very important fight for David Gonzalez. Working his way towards a title shot. World ranked, and he's right on the, on the edge of, of getting that title shot has got to get past Anthony Ivory here. And there's a right hand from Gonzalez that slips and follows it with a left of the body. Misses with that left hand, but then he comes back with a right. And he has Ivory now backing up a little bit. Ivory back into the ropes. David Gonzalez going to work on him, although right now he's kind of holding steady. And Ivory catches him with that little short uppercut on the inside. If nothing else, David Gonzalez is pulling his way forward and, and probably making an impression on the judges if the rounds are close. The man who's, who's you know, moving forward is probably going to get that round. David Gonzalez doing just enough now. Anthony Ivory needs to explode. He needs to really get busy here offensively because he is just being pushed back round after round. And, and that pattern is being established there you see Ivory now with some little shots, just trying to keep Gonzalez off of him. And David Gonzalez just lowers his head and charges in. Again, Ivory just standing toe to toe with Gonzalez, but it's David Gonzalez doing most of the scoring. There you see, oh, Ivory misses with a couple of short little shots. In close, close range. And that ends the round. Here comes round six. So we are halfway through this 10 rounder. I've got David Gonzalez pulling ahead now in this one. Anthony Ivory is going to have to really get busy with his hands. And there you see him at range, where he's a little bit safer. But immediately, Gonzalez closes the distance. It's been this same pattern throughout. Ivory starts off kind of boxing, and then little by little, Gonzalez just kind of imposes himself and next thing you know, the two are on the inside, but it's Gonzalez, whose hands are moving a little bit more, outscoring the slick Anthony Ivory. David Gonzalez was born originally from San Jose, California, but now lives and fights out of Houston, Texas. He has held the NABF welterweight title and the California State lightweight title with that glossy record, 30 wins, two losses, and a draw. He is definitely a fighter to watch. But right now, he really having a hard time figuring out how to get to and hurt Anthony Ivory. And there you see Ivory now trying with his own left hand to the body. Gonzalez trying to answer back here. These guys are staying close, and there's a lot of short little chopping shots. No big bombs to this point. Nobody's been down. Nobody's been hurt. Anthony Ivory's last fight was a 10-round loss to Simon Brown. So <laughs> what a way to come off of Simon Brown fight and then step right in with David Gonzalez. But Anthony Ivory has gloves and will travel. He's, he never says no to a fight. Right now he's doing okay with David Gonzalez, but 
probably not enough to win the fight so far. He's holding his own against the world-ranked David Gonzalez. And those little uppercuts have been working. I'm surprised he doesn't use them more in, in, in a steady fashion. It's David Gonzalez just leaning, leaning forward, asking for the uppercut. And every time Ivory throws one, he catches him. And again, you see Gonzalez going to the body. That ends round six. So we've got four to go in this one. Welter waits. David goes. Seventh round action. Anthony Ivory in the red trunks. David Gonzalez in the black trunks. Again, David Gonzalez just putting it into first gear and moving in, moving forward. Now you see Ivory kind of standing outside and showing now. That's how. That's the way Ivory can box, but I don't know why he, he continues to get lulled into that trap of standing and fighting on the inside. You can see that when he stays outside, he's very rangy, he has a good jab. A little bit of movement, he could really be giving Gonzalez trouble here, but David Gonzalez has been effective in, in closing the distance. And then Ivory just, rather than moving away, although right now he's kind of moving away, there you see him sticking the jab out there. But Ivory just has not been able to sustain the boxing. And Gonzalez happy to oblige him on the inside. And oh, there's a left hand right on the chin of Ivory, took it well. There you see Ivory now. He's trying to box and step away and, and jab, but boy, Gonzalez is just relentless. Gonzalez doing a pretty good job of, of cutting him off, stepping to the right with him. And referee Roger Giannis doing a good job of letting these two guys work when they do tangle up on the inside. They, they eventually work their way out. Roger Giannis not having to be real busy tonight as a referee. These two guys just working on their own. And you can see David Gonzalez trying to track down now the, the elusive uh, Anthony Ivory. He's trying to be a little bit, little bit slicker, doing a little bit more foot movement. And Gonzalez just tracking him, tracking, staying right with him. And now you see them. They're, they're close enough a lot for Gonzalez to do a lot of scoring here. Ivory every once in a while just flashes that good jab, but he just doesn't keep it going. Again, David Gonzalez just stepping right with Anthony Ivory, not giving him any time to rest, take a breather here. Ivory has, has to just jab his way out to get a little bit of distance here. Gonzalez just outworking Anthony Ivory in this one. From where I'm sitting. And that threw out. So David Gonzalez will head back to his corner. David Gonzalez in the black trunks and Anthony Ice Ivory in the red. So Anthony Ivory now enters the eighth round here against David Gonzalez. And he really needs to get busy. I've got him falling pretty far behind here. Started off with a decent opening round, but after that, it's been all David Gonzalez in the black trunks. Dan Cisneros at ringside, and you're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour, Community Cable Channel 27 here in Albuquerque. Glad to bring you the boxing action from Phoenix, Arizona tonight. Not sitting right at ringside, but glad to be here nonetheless. And David Gonzalez now ducking his head and working on the inside. There he catches Ivory with a little right hand. Neither man has been hurt or down in this one. It's pretty much been this pattern all the way through. 
Ivory showing flashes of, of, of slick boxing, but then David Gonzalez just shutting that down and, and stepping inside and working at close quarters, outscoring Ivory. Gonzalez working with those shots, just staying busy with his hands, not really damaging Anthony Hydrogen. He's caught him with some good little shots, but nothing big though. And Ivory just continues to work. Not able to, to do anything to, to really stop the forward progress of Gonzalez. Now you see Ivory with a little bit of room to operate, and immediately Gonzalez closes the distance. And I think David Gonzalez welcomes this pace. He doesn't mind at all. If Ivory wants to step back and let, let Gonzalez step with him, he's more than happy to do that. Anthony Ivory just really not able to be elusive enough. He's, he's always been in range. And Gonzalez keeps catching him with these short little chopping shots. Nothing damaging, but they are scoring. <laughs> There's a little short uppercut from Gonzalez. Ivory just kind of holding him around the torso now. Kind of tying him up. And that ends the round. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. So we've got two to go. Round nine underway. You're watching the eight-count boxing hour. Welterweights scheduled for 10. It looks like they're going to make it to the end here unless something surprising happens. David Gonzalez in the black trunks. Pretty much in control of this one. Anthony Ivory in the red trunks. Trying to find lightning in a bottle here, and, and I think he's going to need at least a couple knockdowns to win the, pull this one out. He's falling behind, just allowing David Gonzalez to do what he wants. There's a nice little left catching Gonzalez on the way in. But Gonzalez takes it well and just steps right inside. Ivory was effective with that uppercut earlier in the fight, but it just, I don't know where that's gone. And uh, David Gonzalez has been doing some pretty nice body work and just staying busy and scoring. Again, Ivory just being forced back by the relentless bulldog power of David Gonzalez, those big strong legs, just moving forward and pushing Anthony Ivory, literally just driving him around the ring. And Ivory does not dance away. He's willing to stay right inside with, with Gonzalez and trade. And now you see Ivory trying to work with that jab, but he just can't keep Gonzalez off of him. Gonzalez just moving forward and pretty much doing what he wants when he wants. Not a whole lot of, of uh, dangerous, no threat coming in return from Anthony Ivory. He's just kind of moving around and, and throwing some short little shots, but in no way is he hurting or uh, deterring the forward progress of David Gonzalez in the black trunks. Gonzalez looking for his 31st victory impressive record. And he's doing a pretty good job against a pretty good, pretty decent uh, boxer. Anthony Ivory is well respected. And uh, Gonzalez really, you know, not super impressive, but doing just enough. It looks like anyway, from where we're sitting, to get the victory, but Ivory needs to do something here. He needs to unload. 
actually David Gonzalez not doing much in the way of damage himself. He seems willing and happy to just go ahead and exchange short shots. And that ends the ninth round. We got one to go in this one. Here on the eight count boxing hour. As we look at the crowd here, David Gonzalez apparently on his way to his 31st victory, but he's got three minutes now to look for a knockout. And I'm sure that would be impressive. I mean, maybe his trainers are telling him to be careful and <laughs> just get the win. But uh, and on the other in the other corner, Anthony Ivory. We have him down by quite a few rounds here. I gave him the first round. And after that, it's been hard. There may be a round or two in there that he might have taken but so we are ready to start with the 10th ten, and final round the two touch him up and here we go David Gonzalez in the black trunks Anthony Ivory in the red trunks now you see Gonzalez moving forward and putting a little bit more behind those shots Ivory just kind of dancing away now, working with that jab. I just get the feeling that Anthony Ivory could do so much more, but he just, just doesn't seem to have the answers for David Gonzalez, who doesn't have a lot of trouble getting in close. Anthony Ivory with a style that kind of reminds me of, of uh, Too Sweet James Creighton. But just not staying busy enough with his hands as Gonzalez just continues to push forward, driving Ivory back to the ropes. And doing just enough to, to win the rounds, round after round. There you see Gonzalez again. He's been working pretty good with that left hand of the body. doing a good job of survivor mode here, but really not doing anything to, to uh, pull this one out. Of course, no telling what the, the official judges have on their scorecards. Oh, and Gonzalez throws a right hand and misses it. Now that one had a little bit of hurt behind it. But he just misses. Ivory, not an easy, easy target. You can see a little bit of head movement there. He's moving around a little bit. The only time Gonzalez has a good shot at him is in close. So time winding down in this one, it looks like we are going to go to a decision unless there's, oh, there's a short little shot that catches Gonzalez on the way in. This one's going to end with Gonzalez moving forward on the attack. The whole fight. David Gonzalez has been the man putting on the pressure, making the fight. It will probably serve him well on the scorecards. And there you see him now working with one last effort to try to get a knockout here. And there's the bell, and that ends it. So the bout goes the full 10. <laughs> Anthony Ivory happy to, to have gone the distance, but. Let's go up to Jack Budd and find out who won this one. Decision. I will read the judges' scorecards. They are as follows. Judge Bob Cox saw the bout 99-92. Judge Eric Kaiser saw the bout 191. Judge Tom Dunleavy also saw the bout 100-90. All for the winner in the red corner, David Bad Boy Gonzalez. So David Gonzalez gets the unanimous decision on some pretty wide scores on two Even of the judges' scorecards. Nice We'd like to thank everybody for joining us here tonight on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Good night, everybody.